is a drug no, problem really in Stubbington. Yeah. Really? It should be resolved because we hate drugs. When I published my video about the drugs problem in Stubbington Village in 2001, I sent it to those appointed to tackle and help with such problems amongst young people. Here is their letter of reply to me, which plays down the concerns that I raised. My video highlighted the problems associated with the harmful effects of drugs and those things that lead to crime. Now, since I had raised the alarm and expressed my concerns with the appropriate persons and bodies, I was very disappointed with this response because it minimised and played down the serious problem of drugs and crime that existed in Stubbington Village among young people. And so I alerted Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, of my concerns and sent him a copy of my video. Prince Charles gave me a personal, very encouraging response and he sent me his best wishes for the future of the work that I was engaged in. The matters relating to drugs in Stubbington in 2004 were so serious that it was necessary for me to interview a notorious young and influential drug dealer in Stubbington with a view to help him and others in the village. He was Jamie Roberts, whose father was a former drug squad officer in the Hampshire Police Force. Jamie was a heroin addict and died of a drug overdose in his bath at home in Stubbington shortly after this video was made. Jamie wanted to warn his friends to help them and warn others of the dangers of drugs and so we made this documentary video telling of his sad story of drug addiction and drug dealing in Stubbington. That video has been made available for educational use on YouTube and it's called Stubbington Village A Drugs Problem Jamie Roberts 01 and also Stubbington Village A Drug Problem Chasing the Dragon. When I revisited the village in 2012 some 10 years after the first video, to see how things were in the village amongst young people, little had changed. Well, right. Would you say yeah. there was a drug problem? Yes, yes. very. Yeah, a little okay. bit. Yeah, drug okay. Drug okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me, hey, tell me, you tell me your view. I have had parents call me from Stubbington, asking for help to resolve the problems that they have with their teenagers who have problems with drugs and crime in the village. Also, addicts talking to me about their addiction, and one former heroin addict from Stubbington, a friend of Jamie Roberts, called me asking if he could help warn others of the dangers of drugs and all that goes with it. It was then a programme of education was devised in order to tell my story of how I turned my life around after a criminal past involving drugs and spending time in Borstal. This story is told in my book, Converted on LSD, written to help educate and warn others of the dangers and pitfalls associated with drugs and crime and life's difficulties. And now, as a punk rock opera called Borstal Boy, and may well be helpful as a school textbook to help young people, including criminals, to learn to read and educate themselves. Thankfully, with the help of many, including Farron College and the Stubbington Snooker Club, who open up its doors for rehearsals, we are preparing this to be performed in the prisons of the UK. And also, with the help and support of Mark Hoban MP and Caroline Dynage MP, it will be performed in Winchester Prison. It is a long-term project seeking to encourage those with life skills to be involved in educating young people in the safer ways of life. Get ready for the performance of Borstal Boy Punk Opera in the Free Society, which has been designed to educate and warn all about the dangers of drugs and crime and help in an alternative lifestyle. Please contact us, indicating your support, and get involved with this grassroots project. Your help will be very much appreciated. It is known that those with personal interest in any project can be far more effectual than any paid official paid to do the job. I am available to talk to any interested parties about our work, the story 
and our project Borstal Boy Opera. Please send us an email or contact us via our subscription link on our website to let us know your interests. And of course, we have Prince Charles's support.